<laughs> Man, listen. I don't know why you clicked this video, but I, I think you clicked it for the right reason. I, I, I think you was thinking what I'm thinking right now. Listen. The, I'm going to tell you. These people that you come across and the people that's in your life right now, all right? Chances are half of your friends that's in your life right now will not be your friends for too much longer. You know why? Okay? The reason why is because they think that you're not going to be successful without them. You probably got some friends in your life right now, and they feel like, well, if, if I leave her today, then she ain't going to be nothing without me. They start to think after a while that you getting all your knowledge, you getting all your 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 goodness coming from God. They they start to think that it it they matter. They start to feel like what you got going on is is not able to happen because of them. Listen, folks, listen. They in competition with you. Whether you want to believe it or not, your friends, your family members, your bestie, your homie, they in competition with you. They are in competition with you. It don't give I don't give a D who you are. When you doing good with your life, when you have something going on great, you can just look good, honey. You can just smell good. You can be putting cute commas on your eyes in front of your friend. If your friend see you put a cute commas and avocado and honey on your eyes. She gonna say, uh, uh, uh. he thinks he all that. Uh. Them demons is gonna go off in people because they can't stand to see you succeed. People can't stand to see you prevail. They can't stand to see you be the best version of yourself that you can possibly be. So this is what they're going to try to do. Stay tuned to the end of this video, man. It's your big brother, Trend Genius. You don't want to miss a people what I'm about to say. Turn your phone up. Turn your TV up. If I'm in your car, you ride home from work, turn me up. Tell everybody, be quiet. We about to talk business. Oh, let's go, man. I don't know, man. What do you do that at? Like, listen, people are starting to feel so entitled for your success, all right? You've worked hard, you've self-developed, you've bettered yourself, you've changed your bad habits, you've rose up, you've taken care of your kids when everybody counted you out. They all said you was going to be a bum. They all said you was going to be a hoe. They all said you wasn't going to make it in your rap game. They all said you wasn't going to be who you is today. Now look where they at. Oh, look, look who you are now. But guess what? These same people that said that it's going to be the same people that keep rotating in and out your life. If they can, they're going to come in and out your life as much as they can. Because see, the, what the thing is, they in competition with you. You'll have somebody to block you today. They'll block you just to get that little five minutes of fame. <laughs> block. I did it. I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Take that. Take that. Yeah, they'll block you today, and then they'll come right back two months later like, Hey, I see you still doing good. Hey, I'm just letting you know that I'm in your city, and I just want to let you know I'm having a party tonight, and you are invited. No, you throwing shade. You trying to invite me to a party that you throwing when you know you blocked me. Oh, huh, what they do that at? I'm not going. I'm not going to that party. That's what they, they in competition with you, man. I'm telling you, folks, people cannot stand to see you do good without them. Success is the best revenge, okay? This is this is what's disturbing your enemies the most. All the people that you say is supposed to be in your life right now, everybody who you expect a phone call from today, everybody who you expected a phone call from yesterday, everybody who you know you did good for. Everybody you, who you know you helped them out when times got hard. Everybody who you know you sent money to. Everybody who you know you brought something to the party, but they didn't bring nothing to your party. All them people, you know what I'm saying? All them people, they cannot stand the fact that you're doing good without them. They hate it. They hate it. It's disturbing them. Every day they get up, they got to think about you and they have to see you still focused on your vision. They got to see you still focused on your destiny. I'm going to tell you, it's going to be some people, you're going to meet them in public. You're going to meet them out here when you get out in the streets and shit. They're going to they gonna, they gonna come off all good. You know, I'm your biggest fan, Trent. Yeah. 
Me and my daughter be watching you. He'll do it. My daughter be like, it. is that the same guy I get, mama? Mama, you said watching the same guy, mama. Is that your husband? And then when you finally meet the person, when you finally meet the person in real life, you find out they some catfish. Nigga, you fat. I can't be with you. You know what I mean? The whole time he been fluffing you up. He been fluffing you up. Yeah, baby, you know, I, you know, yeah, you know, I got two jobs. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm about to, um, yeah, I got, I got uh, about a five hundred thousand in my four hundred one k. Yeah, girl, I can take you out here. I got a shrimp boat. Yeah, I'm like bubble. I got a shrimp boat, baby, and we can go out. We can hang out and we can walk the boardwalk. And I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna take y'all out. I'm gonna take y'all out tonight, okay? And uh, you meet that nigga. He look like that damn uh, Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty, a uh, egg. You a uh, egg. You know, and you know, baby, you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. See, man, listen, people cannot stand to see you successful without them. The reason why, the reason why he catfish you is because he's seen you doing something good. He's seen you getting all the attention. He's seen you take care of yourself. He's seen you take nice photogenic pictures. So he like, I got to go get some of that. I, I, I can't stand to see her do this good without me. I supposed to be in that picture because people start to feel entitled for your success. That's why you can't get nobody to work for you no more. You can't get nobody to do the shit for you no more. That's why I always tell people because I'm a life coach and I talk to people on the phone all around the world. That's why I always tell people for as long as you can manage it. If you are entrepreneur or if you type some type of go-getter or if you a hustler, hustle as long as you can by yourself. Don't get no team until you really need them. Because once you get a team, once you get people around you that you put into place, they going to start to want to take your position. They going to start to want to sit in your chair when you ain't in the office. I'm just like them. Yeah, I'm just like them. Ooh. Where they do that at? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm just like him. I'm just like him. Oh, turn the volume up on your phone. Turn the volume up on your devil. Yeah, I got it. Tell him I got it. <laughs> People want to be just like you, bro, when you start doing good, but they never going to tell you that. Okay? Because they want you to feel bad because you're they're not in your life. Okay? See? See, when you wake up in the morning, people that you love the most ain't going to text you happy birthday because they feel like, no, 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 no. I don't want him to feel good because this is his birthday. Feeling to realize you're going to have a good time without they ass anyway. Why people always trying to throw punches and blows at you? Why people is always trying to like get, try to take away from you when they know it's not going to work? These people be trying to these people be trying to bring you down time and time and time again, don't they? Over and over again. They keep coming in at your life, coming in at your life. He keep coming. The reason why he keep coming back to you is because see, he really wants you to fail without him. See, he don't want he don't want everything that he told you that you wasn't gonna accomplish to go void. But he see, you don't you can get another, you can get another Negro just as fast as he came. It don't matter. When they going to realize that I don't need them? When are they going to wake up? God, please help them. Help their souls, for they know not what they do. People think that since you since they in your life now, that the blessings of the, that God have for you going to stop or something. Like it's going to stop. Oh. Like, 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 like if they in your life, they talking to you and you don't give them what they want. You don't tell them, oh, yeah, you can come over. You come over here and just chill with me today, baby. Or, you know, if they ask you, oh, 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 yeah, well, you want to come over here, baby? And you say, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm good, boo. I'm good. I'm, I'm just going to hang it up for the night and sip me some wine in my own house. You going to sip some wine without me? Huh? Baby, you know you need to be over here sipping that wine. Okay, it's like that then. And then when you tell them, when you tell them, all right, have a wonderful night, they blow up. <laughs> they get mad. They got something to say. Now they mad. Now, you ain't nothing no way. You don't, need a good, you don't look that good anyway. You ain't all that no way, baby. You ain't all that. I don't even know why I was talking to you in the first place. I got better girls than you. Huh? Listen, they think you're not going to be successful without their absence. People love to feel this way, folks. It's a phenomenon. 
You've seen it happen time after time after time again. You can meet people today and they be gone tomorrow. You know why? Because they come into your life to figure out how you do it. That's all. Some people just want to get close to you because they admire you from a distance. They see your success. They see your influence. They, they heard about your music to the grapevine. <laughs> they heard your lyrics. <laughs> and they like, oh, damn, she really doing it like that? And then they want to get with you, get close to you to see if you really doing it like that. They want to see who you go to, who your producers is. They want to see what studio you go to. Oh, so they can rob your ass. That's why you got to be careful of who you make friends with. Okay? These people want to get close to you. They want to connect with you. They going to come into your life and say, I'll be your servant. I, I, what you need me to change the club sheets? Want me to change the sheets on the bed? They'll do everything that they can possibly do just to get next to you so they can get the cheat code. And then this is what they'll do. They'll, they'll create some mind game shit. It'll be some type of mind game to come in the picture. It's always a mind game. All right? It's always where they start to play the manipulation game. Where everything that they once knew, it just get thrown out the window. All of a sudden, they just forgot. They just forgot who you was. All of a sudden, they just... Yeah. Why you say? Why you talking in that tone, nigga? I've been talking in the same tone ever since I knew you. What? Why this matters all of a sudden? I don't like the way you talking in that tone. You th you got a problem with me or something now? Hold on. You good? You all right? Nah, I ain't all right. You supposed to have paid me yesterday when I uh took your dogs out the walk. I ain't never paid you to take my dogs out the walk. Why you want me to pay you? This? Because I'm tired of walking your dogs. No. Uh-oh, here we go. You already know what that means. They are starting to get jealous. They starting to manipulate. Let the games begin. I can guarantee you every time these Decepticons, once they get close to you, once they figure out they have the moment to strike down all of your greatness and all of your success and all of who you are, they are going to strike. And they it is going to be mind games. And it's going to be some shit. It's going to go way over your head. You're going to be like, huh? Like, what they do that at? Like, uh, what I do? I ain't do nothing. I know you didn't do nothing, but this is just the way I feel. Oh. And they, they, they let the games begin. And then this is what they want. They want to do this shit so bad. They want to do it so bad. They want to they want to make themselves absent in your life because they think that if they you if they absent in your life, you're gonna have a bad day. Everything is going to go bad for you. Your success is going to come to a halt. You're not going to be as pretty as you was before they met you. Let's get away from their life right now. Because you can't do it without me. <laughs> You're wasting your time, Decepticon. You just look stupid. Huh. <laughs> One bus come, another one come every 15 minutes, don't it, Star Seed? Y'all already know how we do. We are energetic individuals. Everywhere we go, people want to get a piece of us. Everywhere we go, we got people spying on us and shit with telescopes and shit, trying to figure out who we is and shit. Like, you know who we is? We cannot be denied. We are irresistible. Comment below right now if you agree with your big bro and say, I'm irresistible. I cannot be denied. Everybody want me everywhere I go. It's nothing. Oh, and then say ho oh, with it. Cause like, what they do that? I'm trying to figure out how they think that this shit is gonna work. It's never gonna work. You just look like a Decepticon. Comment below right now, man, and say I am irresistible. I cannot be denied. Everywhere I go, they want me. Ho! Oh. You step outside your door right now. You just go out to a public place. It's Saturday. You step outside your door right now. You just go out somewhere and you just sit and just chill and just mind your business. Just mind your business. Here comes somebody. Oh, I like them pants you got on, twin. You like these pants? These sweatpants. I know, I knew, I knew. I was, I was gonna get some of them. Where did you buy them from? Uh, I, I forgot where I got them from. I think I got them from Dallas, Texas, at, at the Galleria Mall. Oh, are you been Galleria Mall in Texas? Yeah, yeah. Man, I be down here too, man. He come sit beside you. So, man, what's up, man? What you do, man? What's up, man? That's a Decepticon. That's a Decepticon. He, they trying to get close. They trying to get close to you. Try to figure you out. Try to see what you smell like. Try to see who your boyfriend is. Trying to see who your girlfriend is. Trying to see what you're going to be doing in the next hour. Meanwhile, they jealous of you. 
Oh my God, that looks amazing, girl. She hating. She hating on you. She jealous. Instant gratification. That's what these Decepticons want, folks. You're going to notice this on your journey to success. You know, pushing towards your vision, trying to create the things that you desire, You're trying to manifest things and bring them into reality. You're going to understand that people are going to want to get an instant gratification out of you. If they feel like you got more greater things going on than them, they're going to want to get connected with you all to try to make themselves absent just to make you feel bad, just to throw shade on you and try to ruin your day. That's what their whole goal is. Their goal is to bring down your frequency and your vibration. All right, bro. She ain't getting with you because you fly, bro, or she heard about you. She just wants that attention that you get. She, you, a woman can't stand when another man get more attention than them, bro, because that's what they all seeking. Why you think they get all dolled up and putting all, putting all these layers and damn makeup on and shit? Because they want somebody to like the pictures, duh. She might not have nothing going for herself, but she feels like if she take the best picture and the best angle. Hold on, I ain't it's in my pocket. Hold on. Let me see that phone, girl. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let me do it over. This time, hold the... See, you need to work on your photography skills because you don't hold the camera like a real photographer. Girl, take the picture right. Alright, let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Alright, they look better, girl. You know I love you, girl. Come on, let's go to the next spot. She doing all that shit just for attention. She don't even care about her own friend. She'll turn her back on her own friend if the damn picture ain't right. And if she do tell her friend that the picture was right the day they took them together, the next day when her friend wake up, she's going to get a text message and say, I don't want to be your friend no more. Well, why I do, girl? You didn't take that picture right, and I think that you was kind of like didn't like me. Did you have any type of, you feel any type of way about me that day when you were taking pictures of me? I mean, if there's anything you got to say, then say it now. I mean, I know my pants were tight, but yours were tight also. You'd be like, what the fuck they do that shit at? Overnight, overnight, she been letting the devil get into her mind. Over just 24 hours. He'd be like, oh, that itch is crazy. She is crazy. Oh. All because she didn't look good taking the damn picture. That's her fault. It ain't got nothing to do with you. But I'm just letting you know, bro. People think you're not going to be successful without them. So the whole thing is to try to use you, get into your life, try to get a little plane flight, <laughs> bro. She's just going to get a little plane flight, bro. Instant gratification. She's going to say she was with you, bro. She's going to take a picture out. When you take out somewhere nice, nice fancy restaurant, she's going to be taking pictures of the name of the silverware in the neck and she want everybody to see the name. Yeah, call me Ruth Chris. Ding. Yeah. Anyway, baby, how you doing? What's going on? She got that Instagram picture. Now she will post. I was here. But guess what? Your ass ain't never going to be on the Instagram post. She don't want nobody to know she was with you, bro. Uh -huh. You are exempt. <laughs> you don't exist. She took herself there. And she she treated herself. Uh -huh. Listen. It's your big brother, Trend Genius, man. Listen, I told y'all it's going to go off today. And if you stay tuned to the end of this video, man, you know your big bro got something very special for y'all. Hey, thank y'all so much, man, for tuning in to my videos, man. If y'all love my videos, make sure you leave this video and say, Trend, I love your videos. Let me know something, bro. It's my birthday today. Today is December the 18th. It's a very special day from God for me, man. This is the day I was born. December the 18th, 1988 is my birthday. All eights. So with that being said, man, with that being said, I'm a money, I'm a money magnet. You know what I'm saying? And so if you feel like I've been pouring into you, man, you feel like I help you awaken. If I if I crack you up, man, and I make your day, man, make my day today. It's my birthday, man. I'm trying to get out here and 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 and, and go out here without letting these Decepticons come get up close to me and shit. What, 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 what you doing? You 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 that guy that asked them for that cash out money and thank you. Thank you, did. <laughs> you know how they be, but they want to know everything. But now, nah, with that being said, man, I can't take gifts from y'all. 
You feel me? I, I we, 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 we not in physical reality presence of each other. So if you want to make a donation to me, man, you just want to give back to your big brother, man. Uh, just simply just send me a cash out, bro. Anything. It's all good, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put my cash out at the very bottom in the comment section, man. If you just want to give at the kindness of your heart, you already know, man. We don't we don't spend money. We circulate it. I already know it'll come back to you. Uh, once again, thank y'all so much for tuning in. It is my birthday today, y'all. Uh, my son birthday a day after this. My, my son birthday tomorrow too, man. And so... If y'all want to donate, man, donate to Big Bro. Donate to me, man. Shouts out to you. Shouts out to all the Sagittarius out there this month who got birthdays. If I if I miss some of y'all and y'all got birthdays or whatever and y'all know y'all cool with me or whatever, I'm sorry, man. I apologize. Sometimes I be real busy. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it's all love at the end of the day, man. So, with that being said, thank y'all so much for tuning in. Y'all be safe out here, man. And, look, wherever you go, man, be yourself. Be you. Be great. Oh, don't worry about what the Decepticons started to do on the low low. Who cares? You know what I mean? They ain't got no life. They ain't got no life. They just want you to know, they just want you to think that since they don't got no life and they come into your exciting life and they leave, that if they leave, shit, you're going to fail or something. You were successful before you even met them. Oh, make sure you subscribe to my channel right here, man. Click that right there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And make sure you check out one of my other videos, man. It's your big brother, Tran G, man. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace, fellas. And ladies.